Hey guys, so as someone who has been using the Bluetooth service and medication for over a year now, I get a lot of different questions from friends, from whatever, about Bluetooth, about my experience using them and all that. And this video is tackling the question, sildenafil, basically Bluetooth, sildenafil versus tadalafil, what's better? So I'm gonna tackle that question in this video. If you haven't heard of Bluetooth, I mean, you probably have, if you haven't tried them out, use my link below to try them out because that'll get you six free tablets of whatever you choose, either sildenafil or tadalafil. That's basically the first month of their basic package you'll get for free. All you do is pay for shipping. Again, you start this trial off. It's a subscription service. You can cancel after the first month if you want. You're not going to want to, trust me. But again, ultimately, you're paying $5 to get six tablets of ED medication that actually works. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. The link's down below. Take advantage of it if you want. Well, at the end of the day, I'm going to I'm gonna break the question down from, from two different angles. One, Bluetooth, the service, the company, you know, what you'll actually experience with them, and then the actual medication itself. Bluetooth, the service itself, there's no difference what medication you choose. Bluetooth is Bluetooth, and the service is fucking amazing. They're reliable. They've never made a mistake with my address. I've moved twice since starting my subscription with them. Yes, twice in just a little over a year, believe it or not, it's been one of those times. And they've never messed up my dosage when I have to change, when I've had to change my dosage. It's as simple as just getting in touch with the medical professional who initially helped me out and just, you know, pretty much getting it worked out. I've tried other services that are similar, that have sprouted up. My shipping has been incorrect. I've gotten my stuff mailed to other states and had to wait to get my medication. This is medication you want to have on hand when you need it and when you want it. You don't want to be waiting for it. So reliability and these little details make a big difference. I've never had to wait online for customer service with Bluetooth, wait in line on the phone, I mean, whereas other companies, I, I'm lucky if I get through. These, all these little factors make a big difference, but it, whether you're choosing Tadalafil or Sudanafil, Bluetooth is Bluetooth, right? So that takes care of the first part of the question. Bluetooth is a great service. They're reliable. They send their stuff. They send you your medication in discrete packaging. All you have is, is a brief online consultation with a medical professional initially just to answer some questions, get a little bit of your medical history. And then if you're approved for the medication, you're, you're pretty much off to the races and, and that's pretty much it. As far as the medication goes, then that's where things can get a little different. So I've tried both Sildenafil and Tadalafil. To be perfectly honest with you, let me let me break down the actual science of it first. So Sildenafil is designed to be taken right, you know, when you're when you're planning on being intimate, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour is what most people have success with. For me, the sweet spot is 35 minutes on an empty stomach. If it's not on an empty stomach, I'll have to take it a little bit earlier for it to kick in. But you know, Sildenafil, the erection and the, and the blood flow and ability to have a full erection that it gives you, the effects will last anywhere from two to six hours, averagely reported. For me, it's the sweet spot's around two and a half to three, three and a half, it's pretty much pretty much back to normal. And that's pretty much it. Whereas Tadalafil can last up to 36 hours. I personally can vouch for that. I have tested it and I would say for me personally, it's right around the 30 hour mark that I really noticed it's kind of out of my system, at least from what I can tell. But that's really the main difference. And also you just kind of have to chalk some of this up to just personal experience because I have friends who swear by Tadalafil and so then if didn't do much for them. And then I'll have other friends that vice versa. You know, there's really no pattern that I picked up on and that I'm aware of. There's no pattern that that research has picked up on either. It's just everyone's different. And also it's just what you're looking for. You're looking for something that's just going to give you what you need for a few hours or if you need something that's going to last you longer, like 36 hours per se, Tadalafil might be the route you would go down. But either way, you know, one of the medications will likely, will most likely work for you. You know, after, after you answer some questions, verifying your age, ver verifying your medical history, not everyone is eligible to take this medication. If you if you have a certain pre-existing pre health conditions or if you're taking certain medications that can't mix with, with Sildenafil or Tadalafil, you know, doctors can't just hand this stuff out like candy. So these are legitimately doctors that are approving your prescription. You're just having all of the interaction, you know, online. So you never have to actually have an in-person doctor visit, which just makes life a fuck ton easier. But again, that's the basic difference. There's not really a big versus pros, cons. It's just different drugs for different folks kind of a thing as far as which medication is going to work and what you're actually after. That's, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, that link down below will get you six free tablets. All you're paying is shipping. Adios, guys.